Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here I talk about skincare and minimalist makeup So if that sounds like your jam, don't forget to hit like subscribe and that little notification bell down below So you don't miss out on a new video from me every single week So I actually already have a fall lipstick video up on my channel all about my favorite lipsticks to wear this season But I thought I'd do something a little bit different and update you guys on the more low maintenance lip options that I've been rocking I know it's only the start of fall, but the colors I'm going to show you are ones that I actually like to wear all year They are going to be a lot more easy to reapply and apply on the go especially now that we're wearing masks a lot if you want to wear a lipstick it either has to be long wearing and stay put the whole day or be super super easy to reapply so these options are in the latter category if you are into super matte long lasting super opaque formulas or liquid lipsticks then this is not the video for you however if you like glosses lip oils sheer shiny lipsticks then definitely keep on watching as i have a lot of really beautiful options for you to rock this season also a lot of these shades will be very very similar as I'm a huge fan of plum and berry shades for the season but I'm hoping that with the different formulas that I talk about you'll have a lot of options to satisfy your specific tastes so without any further ado let's jump into these swatches starting off with the most subtle option this first one is the moon pudding beige milky lip balm as the name suggests it's a beige tinted lip balm that works with your lip color to create the perfect moody nude I love that it's not as pink as some quote unquote nude shades as the beige adds moodiness that is perfect for fall. You may have spotted this in a recent favorites video of mine and this definitely is exactly that. Perfect for popping on when you're unsure what lip color would go with your outfit. Continuing down the tinted lip balm route, here we have the fresh sugar tinted lip treatment in the shade Spice. Pumpkin spice latte fans, this one's for you. If you're not a fan of super dark shades but still want to spice, excuse the pun, up your fall makeup, then this is the perfect shade to reach for. It's so pigmented I always forget that it's a tinted lip balm. But yes, it definitely is so much more comfortable to wear than your average lipstick and should definitely be in your fall lipstick arsenal. Now, would this even be a video of mine if I didn't mention at least one Olio I also product? For a really minimalist take on a berry lip, look no further. Shade number 4, Berry, is a color I take with me from summer to fall as it's equal parts moody and vibrant. I'm in love with this formula as it's so easy to swipe on the lips. Plus, it works as a beautiful dewy blush too so you can rock a monochromatic look. So we've talked about Olio at also bomb number 4 and now we're moving swiftly on to bomb number 5, Current. If you want a wine stained lip look with minimal effort, then this is definitely one to check out. This could also double as a really moody my lips but better color on darker skin tones which makes it a super versatile addition to any makeup bag. If you want to see swatches of the rest of my Olio at also collection, make sure to check the description box or click the card above. The Rowan Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Scout is a very recent addition to my makeup collection, but one that I've been reaching for non-stop. It really is a liquid lip balm, not too oily or greasy and has a more subtle shine than a gloss. It's also super buildable so you can go for a more watercolor effect, a vampy lip, and basically everything in between. I definitely want to get my hands on more of these. This, of course, is yet another favorite of mine, so while we're at it, why don't you comment down below and let me know what your current favorite lipstick is to rock this season, or if there's one that you typically go to for fall. Let me know, because I'd love to discover some more beautiful, fall-appropriate lipsticks. The Chanel Lip Blush in 420 Burning Berry is, of course, no stranger on my channel. The first time this showed up in a video, I got loads of questions asking about it, and I knew it was a keeper. This is the most matte of the bunch, but it definitely isn't a fully matte finish. If you're a fan of lip stains and want a just bitten effect on the lips, then look no further. The great thing about this is it's much more long wearing than the glossier options in this video, so if you're looking to transition from a liquid lip to something a little bit more low maintenance, then this is for you. So there's going to be a lot of Chanel in this video because they're one of my favorite brands to go to for low maintenance lipstick options. The Rouge Coco Flash formula is one of my absolute favorites. Think of this as a lip oil in a tube. You can see here just how easily it glides on. This particular color moment is a brownie rose shade that is my go-to nude shade for the season, as it has a lot of depth and is versatile enough to pair with pretty much any outfit or color scheme. And another one! 
This Rouge Coco Flash formula is in the shade Noir Moderne, which is the epitome of a wine-stained lip. I find that the silky, slippery finish makes it so much less fussy than matte lipstick, and also makes it look effortlessly cool. This one really adds a ton of oomph to any fall outfit and is a great option if you want to keep the rest of your face pretty much makeup free, but still want to look alive. If I could only own one lipstick for the rest of my life, it would probably be this one. Last but not least, here we have the Chantecaille Lip Chic in the shade Damask. This one is probably the closest to a true lipstick in that it's a little stickier upon application. It gives a beautiful shiny and glowy finish on the lips though, and I love that this is a tad more vibrant than the other fall shades I've shown as it has a touch more pink to it. I think this is a fantastic low maintenance option for those who are not quite ready to let go of their traditional lipsticks. Well, there you have it, my roundup of low maintenance lipsticks for fall. Let me know down in the comments below which one caught your eye. And also let me know, are you more of a fan of matte lipstick formulas or like me, do you prefer sheer shine lipsticks, lip oils, glosses, and tinted lip balms? Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.